I'm going to be walking you through some different ways that you will be using technology throughout your week of E3 summer training. So the purpose of this training or this video is to help you learn the basic ways that you can use technology on your various devices within Canvas and within G Suite. So the very first thing you must do this week is authorize your Google Drive to sync within Canvas. So the first thing you'll need to do is using the different headers on the left-hand side is click on Google Drive. You will then have the option to authorize. You need to authorize Google Drive to sync to Canvas so that you can use the different applications throughout the week. Once you've done that, you're going to click the gear for settings and then click open editor. This will be for any document that you will be editing or working on throughout the week. A major way that you will be sharing your work with your presenters and your facilitators this week is through taking pictures of the work that you've done. So I'm going to walk you through some different ways that you can do that. If you have the Google Drive, Google Drive app on your phone, that's going to be the most effective way for you to share your work. So the first thing you'll do is click the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner. You will then select Upload. After you've selected Upload, you will select um, the Photos and Videos portion of that. You also have the option, if you see the side Upload of Camera, if you just want to use your camera and take a picture of that, you can do that as well. Then that, those particular pictures will be saved in your Google Drive, which you can add to the Google Slide or the Google Doc or whatever that your presenter is having you work on. You may also want to scan and annotate on an iPhone. So here are some steps that outline for, for that. You will need to open up a new note, tap the camera that will allow you to scan documents, make sure that you have correct auto mode saved, and then you can keep it to scan. Now these directions are for signing a document, but you can use that to mark it up if you would like to use some sort of marking tools to mark up your work to kind of show your work. You can do that as well. And finally, you just have the plain old camera on your computer. So if you have a Windows, the camera app is going to be found under C once you go to the Windows menu. Or if you have a Mac, you're going to use the Photo Booth app, and there is a picture of what the app looks like if you're not familiar. Now we're going to discuss how you can insert your work into the various Google apps. So if you use the Google Drive app, after first selecting Insert, you will then select image and then just scroll down to where it says drive, find that image and insert. So if you use the Google Drive app initially, this is the easiest way for you to do that. If you already have an image that's uploaded on your computer from something else, you can upload from your computer as you see there. You also have the option of just going straight from the camera as before. So if you don't want to take a picture ahead of time, if you want to open up the Google slide or the Google Doc, you can select image, scroll down to camera, and then you'll do this, follow the same steps. You can just hold your work up to the screen, and then it will flip itself, it should flip itself for you. Lastly, you need to be able to submit your work through Canvas. So this is an example that is in the seventh grade unit for day one. All participants will be completing an assignment called the laundry problem. So within the module, You'll notice that it has the specific due date and point value down here. So that's how you know that it is an assignment. So select that, so click it to open it. Then you'll need to click Submit Assignment. Click Choose File to find the location of the particular file on your computer. And then lastly, you will click Submit Assignment and that will turn in your work for you. Never fear. If these didn't answer your questions, we have some wonderful people available to help you, and their information is provided for you on the screen. It is also provided for you in your daily overview within Canvas. So if you are in 6th through 8th grade math, you'll be reaching out to Tammy. Ninth through 11th grade math, you will be reaching out to Kim. I hope these tips were helpful in helping you navigate how to use technology to support our, to support our virtual learning this week.